these four planks, you could do them back to back if you want, or you can mix them into your normal workout routine. But try to do each one of them for 30 seconds apiece. Right now, I'm just gonna show you what they are. First one, I call it a high-low. You're gonna start off at the top of a push-up position with your wrists directly below your shoulders. So load all that weight directly below the shoulders, step out to the feet about hip width apart, pull the belly button in, squeeze those abs nice and tight. Once you have that perfect high plank, you're gonna lower one forearm at a time down to the floor. Elbow under the shoulder, elbow under the shoulder. Hold that for a beat, then come back up. One palm at a time. The key with this is, you wanna prevent the body from rocking back and forth like a sinking ship. That's no good. The whole thing with plank is stabilizing the core. So try to stay as rock solid as you can as you come down and then back up. And just keep moving through it while that 30 seconds runs down on the clock. That's the first one. Second one we're gonna do, plank leg lifts. Again, challenging that stability a little bit more. Coming down into the top of a low plank position, the elbows directly under the shoulders, pull the shoulders down the back. One key here in this low plank, I see it all the time, when people get into a low plank position, that upper back rounds, right? Rounds over, all the weight caves down into the floor. Open the chest, pull the shoulders down the back, reach through the heels, reach through the crown of the head. Nice straight line from heels to head. Once you have that perfect position, you are gonna alternate left heel to the sky, back down. Right heel to the sky, back down. Don't let the hips pike up in the air. Keep that straight line, keep that core nice and tight, belly button to the spine, and just alternate legs to the sky. That's it, beautiful. 30 seconds of fun, see how your core feels.